Hey, welcome. And uh, what I wanted to do is to do a quick review here, as I always do with new products and things that I'm looking at, is uh, I was looking to have a really good skull and TMJ area didactic skeleton. Uh, that's a, one that we can pull apart and actually study and learn anatomy with. Uh, now, one of the things is I have a, a huge skeleton model um, that is you cannot pull apart. Uh, which is fine generally for looking at muscle attachments and so forth, but the challenge is we don't get to move things around and to be able to model for clients and so forth uh, how things are moving because those parts are very rigid. So it's much easier for um, demonstration purposes, but also learning. And uh, you can mind my, <laughs> my Band-Aid there of one of my kids because we didn't have an adult Band-Aid. How's that, right? Anyway, so... This one in particular I found on Amazon. It's very difficult a lot of times to find these types of skeleton models, um, especially ones that pull apart like this, that aren't like $500, right? So those are few and far in between. I found this one and uh, it looked like it was pretty good. It was very large scale. I didn't want one that was really tiny. I don't like that. I wanna have one that's a full, full size model and this is the one that we had. So right out of the box, I would say I was pretty happy with it and impressed. It comes with a nice booklet with all of the um, parts, how to put them together and labeling all of the anatomy and so forth of all of the structures, which is pretty cool. And um, in particular, like I said, this thing pulls apart, which I love. So right from the get-go, one of my favorite things here is, is how the jaw moves, how the mandible. It has these little um, plastic inserts in here into the side. So when you pull those out, it kind of keeps it in there without the thing just flopping right out. So it does allow some modeling of how the jaw moves. And of course it can do lateral shifting, right? So because it's on those and it fits right in there. So we can of course model in particular lateral shift of the jaw, which would be the action of the pterygoids in particular. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So if I pull that out, um, then again, we've got a nice uh, mandible there to tinker with. And then we've got the zygoma, temporalis, and so forth. All of these pieces just pop right out, which is pretty awesome, okay? And they're made really well. So, you know, it has these little divots in here, and I have to do a review video later on just to kind of see how they hold up over time. Um, but what I really love is I can pull them out in pieces, in sections, and be able to uh, move them around and model them a little bit for thinking about things like cranial bone distortions and so forth. So as we pull those out piece by piece, we can access each, you know, there's the um, sphenoid bone, again, the temporals. Uh, so if I pull these guys out, and one of the things that I actually wanted to do with this as well, let me see if I can yank this guy out of here. I might have to pull this first, is to model the uh, relationship of uh, the temporal bones to the mandible. So of course I can, I can pull these guys out of here and then I can reinsert this in here and just be able to discuss something like, for example, uh, the rotation of the temporal bones and their influence on the position of the mandible. So, you know, in particular, if we have a posterior tilting here, we can see that the fossa moves anteriorly and what that's going to do to the jaw position. So a lot of cool stuff there in terms of being able to help people understand the relationships of these things uh, for future videos and so forth. So again, uh, you can see here, it's a pretty straightforward uh, concept. This didactic skeleton uh, skull model is we can pull all those pieces apart. Fantastic for anatomy learning and also for demonstration videos and so forth. I think this one was, uh, it was under $100. So that is a really, really good deal, uh, especially if you're looking to do a lot of stuff with the cranium, uh, modeling and so forth for uh, online education videos, and of course your own self-learning. So I hope that's helpful. I'll drop a link to this one below. I think it's great, uh, very useful. I'll probably do an update on it at a certain point to let you know how these parts are holding up. But uh, just wanted to jump on and, and walk you through this one. So that's the exploded skull here. So Sam here, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Love to hear your input and uh, I'll see you next time.